Yo, what's up, hello, people. My name is Clark Asario from Real Dojo, and welcome to another epic tutorial. Now, in my previous tutorial, I was talking about Unreal Engine 5.2 Pre, one of the features that was just integrated as the procedure content generation framework. But this time, we're just going to talk about the substrate, which is more like um, a material system, a new material system that they are bringing into Unreal Engine. It's currently in an experimental stage, but we're just going to try it out and see what is happening in here. So, um, there's a documentation in here, which is more like uh, showing you what it's all about. And um, it kind of gives you the ability to like layer up materials together in order to give you like um, a cool looking and also optimize. Into them is more like stable than the one that we have in 5.1 right now. So let's get straight into it and let me show you how to activate it. So in order for you to activate it, it's not actually a plugin. You just have to go to your project settings and search for substrate and um, you just type substrate and you just activate this. I've already activated my, will tell you to restart. You make your restart, then you come back to your editor. All right, so the next thing that you got to do is to go in your content and create your normal material and just gonna, I'm just gonna name it test and um, double click it and you get this new notes in the air, far from what we had in our normal material in 5.1 and um, in the beginning, I like, let's say in 5.1, if you get something like this, you just have to like change it directly and just use a material attribute and maybe like type in and get a node called make attribute, which is here. But now they've given us a different kind of um, a node and according to them, this is more optimized and uh, we're going to get like good looking stuff, you know. So with this, you can actually like copy this and paste this in and more like bring it down here. And the way to like put them together is by using a substrate add. So there are a couple of different kinds of blending here, which you can use like um, the substrate add, you can use the coverage weight, you can use the substrate um, horizontal blend. You can also use the vertical layer. I'm just gonna use the add here and I'm just gonna hook it in here, hook it right here and also hook it into the front material. That's how we kind of know that. So what I'm going to do is to add a vector parameter into the base material. Just going to name it base. And I'm going to give it more like this color. All right. And um, what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm just going to try add some roughness in here, which is going to be like a constant. Um, yeah, the zero constant is going to be, yeah, you have a nice, like, you know, reflective surface. So what I'm going to do next is like add um, a noise material. I'm just going to try and see if I can find a noise material in here and I could just drop it in here and then hook it up. And you can see that straightforward, we have more like our noise material overlaying on this material. So um, it's kind of like layering up textures on top of each other and um, you could blend them really good according to like the example that they showed in the video that is on GDC. You could check it out. It's really cool. So yeah, that is it. And um, checking out the nodes that are with this substrate. You can see we have the eye. We have one for eye. We have one for hair. We have one for like clear coats. We have like water. We have slabs. We have on lips. We have like one for volumetric fog and cloud. And that I really want to check out maybe in another tutorial. And uh, they have like um, other substrate building blocks, which is the coats, the metal, the non metal, UE4, Disney. Uh, weird Disney. I want to check that out too. So there are also others here, which is the convert to decal. So if you check directly in here, you will notice that the material domain is actually grayed out. It's really grayed out. To get them, you just have to go in and just type in substrate and you can convert and can, and can actually convert your material to like um, decals. You can convert it 
and get like a material light function is the same that we had before in the material domain which you could add so i'm gonna end here with this tutorial because this tutorial is not actually creating an a material i'm just giving you an overview of what we have the new features that are coming in on real engine is it good is it bad leave it in the comments let's see what this is gonna come up with but you just have to like experiment with these stuff in order to get cool stuff because what they showed in gdc was really good yeah so if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and also click the like button and the bell in order to get notifications when i post new tutorials if you enjoyed this please comment down there and if you don't understand anything to or you want to learn something in unreal and then leave it also in the comments and i'm gonna check it out and make a tutorial for you i'm here for you and you know the drill clockwise